Mr Deputy Speaker, women in Stroud and around the country have woken up with their trust and belief in our police service badly shaken yet again. And I know from speaking to local women that issues in the Met undermine their confidence in Stroud Police and they can see that the Gloucestershire Constabulary is working hard to protect them and they can see that they're open to change. But when we know that women are routinely um, not reporting violence, abuse and harassment, in part because of uh, lack of faith in the police, and with each force doing something completely different, what is my right honourable friend doing to ensure that all police forces get their act together and show the country that they are speaking to each other and that we're going to make national change on this issue? My honourable friend is absolutely right to, to raise the issue about uh, the confidence of women in policing. Uh, tangible steps and measures have already been taken after legislating in the Police Crime Sentencing and Courts Act to address concerns surrounding data extraction from victims' devices during investigations. We are well on the way to ensuring that victims are not without a phone for more than 24 hours. That's been a, a, a real uh, deterrent to women coming forward with complaints about rape or serious sexual offences. We've led with the groundbreaking Operation Soteria programme, radical transformation on the way the police investigate rape and serious sexual offences. We're also protecting the well-being of victims during trials by offering pre-recorded evidence for rape victims. Those are just a few of the measures that we are taking to send the message to women and girls, come forward if you are a victim, and if you do, the police will be there to support you.